This is Patrick Farrell. I'm a uh, man who lives in Lee County for the last 25 years. In uh, 1992, my niece was killed in a Ford Bronco rollover. My older sister sued Ford Motor Company, and they gave her nothing, and uh, but took the Ford Bronco out of circulation. My younger sister worked with Alfred Ford, the great-grandson of Henry Ford, and they were both Hare Krishna devotees. Alfred Ford's a billionaire, and he was the wealthiest Krishna devotee on, in the planet. Uh, I threatened Alfred Ford and my sister to expose by exposing them that they would be subject to the law for abusing children for 20 years. And in 1993, a man named Carl Woodham, who works with Alfred Ford, came down to Fort Myers, dropped off his little girls, and left, and then said I had sexually molested them. I was arrested in 1994, and I came into court and I yelled at the judge. I said, you arrested the wrong man. And it was Judge Dahmer who had arrested me. He stopped the proceedings. He fired the state attorney, Melissa Skeen. But the supervisor, Sherry Polster Chapel, decided to uh, throw in another felony to disguise the fact that Carl Woodham was behind all this. So a couple of years later, nothing happened. And uh, I had bonded out of jail and it cost me $20,000 cash. So a couple years later, I filed a small claims lawsuit, and I uh, told Judge Domerick that he had arrested the wrong man, and he ruled in my favor, but the state still didn't want to drop the charges. I told the uh, Florida Child Protection Team that the Hare Krishnas had a, a compound up in Alachua, Florida, and that they, they had been molesting children for 20 years. So the state of Florida Child Protection Team went up there, found out some instances of child abuse, and then in May of 1996, 10 Hare Krishna children came out at a public meeting and said that they, they had been homosexually raped at knife point by the Hare Krishna priests. And this started a major investigation by the Alachua County Sheriffs. Uh, at about that time, I uh, was still fighting these charges. Instead of dropping the charges, State Attorney Elaine Laboda came into court and tried to change the whole story. She put Carl Woodham on the stand, and he said that uh, it was, the whole thing was a setup because he, him and I had problems in the past. Judge Isaac Anderson had a fit, threw him off the stand, yelled at Elaine Laboda, threw the whole case out, and L Elaine Laboda was fired from the state attorney's office for committing two felonies. Uh, they didn't drop the Sierra Poster Chapel, didn't want to drop the charges, so we went to trial and I was acquitted of all charges. <clears throat> By that time, I'd alerted the IRS that child abuse is uh, against the law for one, but it voids tax exempt status, which the Hare Krishnas had. So the United States government got involved and um, 400 uh, children or 100 children uh, that were victims of child abuse filed a $400 million lawsuit against the Hare Krishnas a cult that the state attorney represented. And uh, the, the Hare Krishnas filed bankruptcy. They paid out $25 million. Several people went to jail. And I was rewarded with a $40,000 spine surgery that was paid for. And then even after being fired from the state attorney's office for aiding and abetting the international ring of child molesters, Elena Labota was appointed as circuit judge here in Lee County by Charlie Crist. And she's still a judge. And she's still a judge, and she has $950,000 in net assets. And Sherry Polster Chapel, who was the felony supervisor, who orchestrated this nonsense for four years using four different state attorneys, was promoted to a circuit judge from the state attorney's office. Now she's a federal judge, thanks to Barack Obama, after aiding and abetting an international ring of child molesters that had tax exemption from the IRS, even though that's illegal. She and was, here I am. Here she was appointed in uh, 2013. She was appointed in 2013. Presiding in the Middle District court, Federal Courts of, of Florida. Yes. Illegally. Yes. As a it, criminal. It, it's a criminal racketeering enterprise from the federal level to the state level to the county level. And how could Charlie Crist appoint a judge, Elaine Labote as a judge, after being dismissed for committing two felonies. As a it, prosecutor. As a prosecutor. It's unconscionable, but these people can get away with anything, do anything, and make you disappear if they want, If but you have to fight them. And fortunately for me, the whole thing unraveled just by, just by telling the truth.
All right, that's on Patrick F uh, Farrell on April 20, or is it April, April 19th, 19th, 2017, and we've got a whole lot more for you.